What up guys, it's Cashardiel. We are doing the fifth video of the Carbon Super Duke build series. This woman is pacing the hell out of me on her bicycle and that does, oh it is electrically boosted, okay. She's doing 26, damn girl. Anyways, uh, fifth episode of the Carbon Build Series. All of this carbon fiber is coming from Moto Composites, as you guys all know. If you have or haven't, whatever, click on the link in the description. Check out to see if they have your bikes. Check out to see if they have some carbon fiber that you might like. As you can see, the Super Duke is getting some more. Uh, there are probably going to be two more episodes of the Carbon Build Series after this. So definitely check it out. Give it a look. I'm going to turn over to Max here. Oh. All right, guys. So Max here again. We just started before on the Moto Composites carbon fiber install. We've got a table full of Mo uh, Moto Composite carbon fiber that you've seen before. These you've seen, the fairings, right? This cowl that you've seen. This heat shield right here is new in matte carbon, standard weave. And of course, Max picks that up and, and pick that up and just show us a little bit. This is the biggest piece of carbon fiber I think I've ever seen in my life. That's the tank cover, gloss, standard weave. Got a few fingerprints on it. You want to see what's really down. beautiful? Show me. Look inside. <laughs> this is the part that this is like the the closet that you never open yeah, when yeah. guests come over. Yeah, of course. You never let them see this side. You yeah. only show them the living room. Uh huh. A lot of fingerprints. We're gonna get those off. But anyways, right now Max is gonna start with that piece, get the rest on, and we're gonna move this Super Duke here that's up on the lift from partially built to fully built. Last video just now, Max did the front fender right here with the gloss front and the matte back which we're actually just looking at. I like it, personally I do. It's good. It is. Yeah. And the second thing Max did was just these little um, engine casing covers here. Not really engine casing, but more just casing covers. One covers the coolant tank. I do have a correction from the last video. I said that the battery tender was under here. It's not. I actually think, on my bike, it's on the other side. I don't know if you have one on here or not. I installed it when I first got the bike. Oh my god, look at that Austin Racing. Beautiful! <laughs> Hey, Beautiful. remember that time somebody said, hey, what's that Austin racing pipe? Is that SC Project? Oh, we were, <laughs> Max, so, yeah, grab your tools and get started. I'll explain it. So we were, Max and I were at uh, a demo day this weekend. A guy comes up, literally kneels in front of the bike looking at the pipe. It says Austin racing in the biggest letters I've ever seen <laughs> next to a giant AR. Maybe he thought you were like sponsored by somebody and that I was an SC Project exhaust that you were sponsored by somebody else and it's like Austin. Maybe that's your name. Maybe. Yeah, you don't have to replace the whole tank. What's nice about this is it slips over the current tank and you just got to make it a little bit. Hopefully you don't scratch too much as you go on. Okay, got you so, a bit up here. Yeah. I like to just pull. Yeah, this is one of the easier installs really. Now there's a, a couple of pads you want to be careful of. I don't know if you saw it on your side. I'll show you again. But underneath here, there's a tiny pad. You can see right there. Where is it? Oh, right there. Wait, move your finger for a quick, quick. Lighting, lighting. This piece is a, a nice little, uh, yeah. So you just want to make sure you lift up over that so you don't... Smush it. Well, if you, if you put it on without lifting over it, you might cut it off, yeah. you know, because yeah. this is sharp. And then you have it on there, and it pretty much just stays very snug, simple. right? It looks snug. It's snug, and they have cutouts already for where the front fender pieces are going to screw in. Yeah. And that's what keeps it tight on there. That, so fair, in yeah. addition to, yeah. I don't know if the seat actually touches it at all or not. I don't think so. So it's pretty easy once it's on there. Yeah. Cool. So what are you going to do now? Are you going to grab the fairing, or are you going to do the seat? I think we should do the fairing. It's yeah. pretty easy to put it on while this is in the state. Yep. And then we can slap the seat on there and you know this is one of the easier installs. So, I didn't have to screw in anything. Yeah, you haven't done it yet. Yeah. 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 Go grab one of those fairings. I'm gonna wipe your fingerprints off these because I'm I'm dying looking at them. But let's just take a close up. Oh my god. So now you're fitting the fairing back on. We installed that fairing in a few of the earlier videos. There we go. Yeah. It's just gonna sit right in there. I'll hang on to that while you go grab some of your, your screws. Oh, screw goes on the front piece here. That's right, right up there. I believe, I hope. Don't you worry, buddy. We got some waved brake discs coming off for you. <laughs> this exhaust pipe is going to. I think the a better question titanium. you need to ask yourself is, do you want me working on your brakes? Yeah, that's a fair question. Given your track record, that is a very fair question. Right here, we've got the the Austin Racing slip. These headers are OEM right here. These headers actually might be getting switched out for some titanium ones pretty soon to hopefully tie to that color and just not look as beat and dirty as those do right now. Just walking back through here. We showed you guys these last time. 
rear hugger and chain guard is just super glossy. So Max, you're finishing up the second fairing right now. Yep. The flow. This is just one giant, again, let me grab a rag here. Is this one damp? It's not. So many fingerprints. I'm going to have to clean this thing, but the flow of carbon is just amazing. From the top here, all the way down through the fairing, down to the front fender there. Very nice. Good work so far, Maxie. I really earned the incorrect pizza we got. Incorrect pizza. We had our wrong pizza delivered. He earned the incorrect pizza. I'm so mad. But there's some bonus footage coming. Bonus. You earned your matte carbon standard exhaust shield that really we're going to be putting on your bike. Let's go take a quick glance at that. Currently he's got a OEM exhaust shield right there and we got this piece in matte carbon and that's going to be put on quickly. So right now Max's bike is out here on the floor. We're going to get this thing up on the lift over here. Roll my bad boy down off there. Once Max is done, we should actually get the seat in the rear cowl on too. Yeah. Okay. That's easy enough. I think we can manage that. So you got the seat to fit? No, I mean, there's a little piece in here that's got all line, so you just push far enough forward. Yeah. And then it just drops down and in. And it drops in. Boom. Very lean, very clean. There's I the think the, the tank definitely does add a little. You got to give it a little more elbow grease to push it forward because there is very slight additional thickness there. Very slight, but indeed. And then this guy, we've done before, you just align the back pieces. So you have these pieces here. Line to this, guys. You all know this already. I love that piece too. With the rear hugger, that rear cowl is one of my favorite pieces. Surprisingly, we are doing it at this height. It's a little bit down now. Well, that sounded closer, to right? I can't see the. Oh, there we go. There. So once you slide that back, push this down, it clicks. Pull it to the ghost click. So Max, bonus footage and for bonus. flavor, you have a matte exhaust shield. Yes. Matte carbon exhaust shield, standard weave. That's replacing this OEM piece right here that you got. That is going to look nice. Much I like better. It. I like it, it a lot. It ties nicely with your ignition column up here, which you've done in matte carbon. I have. And, then and the else? front is also matte carbon. Front fender matte carbon. A little dirty. We've been riding. We have. But that matte actually looks really good. Personally, I like the mat a lot. I'm a fan. Yeah. So Max has the Rizoma Fender Eliminator right there. It's got the Acro Slip on Max. You get that through KTM PowerPoint, Power Parts? I did. Yeah. Well, I think I ordered everything locally here, like KTM Twins or... KTM Twins, something like one that. One of those, yeah. But it's the Acro Slip on that goes to your cat. Street legal. Street legal, which is a big thing in California. No emissions voided. And then he's got this carbon front fender here in matte, which looks really great. And then further up here, if I can get to it, he's got that carbon ignition column. I don't have that on my bike yet, that ignition column. That's definitely something I'm going to add. You have OEM levers, I believe. These look OEM. I do. Rizoma bar end meters. What else are we missing? Rizoma front indicator. That's a nice touch right there. I changed indicators front and rear, yeah. Yep. Sliders. Sliders. That's the big one that I haven't hit. Bike looks good. This camera makes all the bikes look good. <laughs> Rizoma sliders right here. These are nice. I actually wanted these for mine. Actually, if you look at the side profile of the bike, don't even stick out that much. I just didn't like how pricey they were, but Maxi Warbucks over here it doesn't seem to matter. All right. You're good. So this came off. Yep. Dirty. This is the OEM. steel. It's. I mean, if you, I wish you could feel how heavy this is in comparison. This, this guy. Is heavy as hell. It's out. heavy, and I'm holding part of it. Like yeah. that's heavy. Oh my god. And then this thing is just. I mean, Fe expectedly feather. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. But that is impressive. That's a, that's a big weight savings. Twenty horsepower, right? There. Uh, minimal. Minimal to twenty horsepower. All right. So this guy should fit exactly in the same location. Screw. 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 If we're lucky, we won't have to do anything crazy. It looks really good. Are you recording this? Because oh, yeah. this is so boring. No, no. I mean, it's quick. It's the easiest install I think you've ever done in your life. A chunk of right, steel. but the carbon one on the other side, there's a, a very thin film of what seems to be some sort of heat resistant, yeah. like it's almost, it insulation. Looks like it's, uh, it's, it's a little thicker. I think they put a little bit of insulation there because the carbon, you know, it's funny when you touch the carbon tip on my exhaust, you don't feel the heat at all, like it, it's, really? it's, it's, even when it's hot. I mean, carbon is not nearly as good as an insulator as metal, so like it barely gets hot, right? Oh. 
and uh, and just the cooling factor is great. Conductor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a great insulator. You're right. Yeah. So yeah. the point is, this being thinner and even having a little thermal material on the other side, I feel like it's going to be a better heat shield. Max, I'm not going to lie to you, dude. Your your bike is starting to look like a mean super duke. It always has, but this is the accoutrement. <laughs> I do like this piece. Congratulations. That's payment for your efforts. <laughs> You know, just getting to hang out with you. Yeah, stand in front of the camera doing all the hard labor. It means really, that no payment is enough. The, the real payment. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that is some juicy carbon fiber right there. Very nice. Very nice. Bring yourself to your front fender a bit too. Let's just see how that ties out. So, oh yeah, that's the perfect angle. That is sweet. Okay guys, so to date, we've got the gloss carbon front fender. A little bit higher there, Max, with the lamp. Max holding a lamp next to us. We've got the gloss carbon front fairing. We've got the matte back piece of the front fender there, which looks pretty sweet. The tank is going to be tough to see. Let's see, see how much that lamp shows, which is a good amount there. We've got the rear cowl right here. Very sweet. And then my favorite piece, mud hugger, rear, sorry, rear hugger, chain guard. That piece is great. These wheels are not as clean as they need to be. I need to clean those up a bit. Coming off, potentially some wave brake discs, potentially some titanium headers. Max, you've done some great work as always. Thank this you is so very much. nice. Is Looks good. Say before you're done? Uh, until next time, folks. Boom.